Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. Today, I'm introducing a new feature in QAP version 11.6, the Quick Launch Box. This tool will make you save even more time. If you know the first letters of the favorite or the recent file that you want to open, instead of opening the QAP menu and look for the favorite in one of your sub menu, you just have to open the Quick Launch Box type a few letters and press enter or select the favorite in the quick launch list. In this video, we will see how to open the quick launch box, how to use it to open any type of favorite. We'll, uh, we will see the options that are available to make the quick launch work the way you prefer. And finally, we will see how powerful this can become when you associate the quick launch box with the alternative menu features. If you install Quick Access Pop-Up for the first time with version 11.6 or a more recent version, this Quick Launch feature is already in your QAP menu. You can find it under My QAP Essentials, Quick Launch. You can select it that way or press shift Control q to open the Quick Launch box. And we can see the favorite in your customized menu under My QAP Essentials here at the top, near the top of the list. If, on the other hand, you upgraded to version 11.6 from a previous version of Quick Access Pop-Up, you will have to add this favorite to your menu because it's not there actually. So I will remove it here to show you how to add it. So what you will do, you will open the, the customize window, click Add, then QAP feature. You select the Quick Launch feature from the various utilities here or at least for now it is under the featured features uh, here quick launch so you select it then you select in which menu you want to see it by default uh, for new users it is installed under the main menu and sub menu my qap essentials so you can change it if you prefer and i will put it at the top here you can keep the, the, the default icon, you could change the shortcut if you wish to change it. For example, it can be convenient to use control and middle mouse button. That way you don't have to press multiple keys, you press control and then you hit the middle mouse button, it will open the quick launch. So let's review it now. So I will just a separator here, I save it. And you can see that I have this item here. And I can also open it using control and middle mouse. So it opens the, the quick launch box. Also, in any case, uh, if you don't have it in your menu, you can always open the customize window and launch the quick launch uh, feature by selecting the tools menu and then quick launch and it will open the quick launch window right there. Now let's see how this uh, quick launch box works with a little more details. So when you open it, it's empty. As soon as you press a letter or a character, it will list all the favorites in your menu that contains this letter and also all those that can be found under the recent files, recent folders, frequent folders or frequent files of your menu. Let's just refine our search with a second letter, so NO. So you see now that we have notepad, the notify sound uh, folder called afternoon and the notify wave uh, uh, file here that is found from the recent files because I used it recently. So now when you found what you were looking for, all you have to do is to press enter if what you were looking for is at the first position. That's get the case here if I want to launch Notepad. All I have to do is to press Enter and it will open Notepad. You could also use the mouse to select, double click on it or double click on any item. And you can use the, the arrows if you prefer to launch an item. Let's, la let's launch the Notify sound here. There we go. Now, if you have a lot of items in your menu and your, in re your recent files, you can refine the result by entering multiple uh, characters. For example, if I search for VI, I have a lot of items, but if I press space and 
other characters. So in this case, E. So it will restrict every favorite that contains VI and E somewhere in the name. If I add V, it will restrict the list to the only item that has VI and EV, which is in this case the even viewer. And now I can press enter. So that way you can launch favorite uh, in, uh, in a few seconds only. Now let's see the options that are available to uh, control to make the quick launch work the way you prefer. So let's open the customize window, go in the options under customize window options. Here you have a new section that is called quick launch options. One, the first option you have there is if you want to search with extended search. So that way the search will be done in all properties. Let's review this. So let's search for edit here. So I have edit, I have regedit because it contains edit in the favorite name. But I also have here snippet example. There is no edit visible in the name of the favorite, but there is uh, the word or the letters edit inside the, the snippet in this case. To review it, I will use the alternative menu. We will come back on the alternative menu later. So I'm right clicking on it and select edit a favorite and it will open my snippet example. And you can see here that we in fact have edit inside the text of, of the snippet. The extended search cover the path of the file, co can cover also uh, the parameters. So, so every properties from your favorite will be included in your search. Of course, it will give you more results. So if you prefer, you can just re return to the regular uh, behavior, which will search only in the favorite name. Second option is to include or not the recent and frequent menu in your uh, items. So if I search, for example, here, I remove this option. By default, it is enabled. So if we take a look at what we have in our recent files, for example, so you see we have some items that contain the word quick here. So if I search inside the quick launch for the word quick, it will find a few items here that are in my menu because I excluded the recent files and recent folders. So I will return and re-enable this option here, include recent and frequent menu items. And if I search again for quick, now you see that in addition to those that are found in my menu as favorite, there are all those here that comes from the recent files or the recent folders. The last option that you can change in the for the quick launch, let's return to options customize window is in fact there are two more uh, options one is the the height the default size of the box by default it, uh, it is 10 rows i will change it for 20 rows for the next example and the last option is how items are sorted by default they are sorted by usage so quick access pop-up has a database that will collect uh, your usage of quick access pop-up and uh, it will make uh, at the first position the items from the search that you do in the quick launch that has been used more frequently so let's review with the new size of our quick launch box so you see now it's taller so you decide what height you you want and the width is automatically set depending on the content of your search result Finally, we will see how you can use alternative menu features with the quick launch box. These alternative menu features are a little less known than those that you see at first, at first, uh, at first sight. Let me first review uh, what are those uh, alternative menu features. To open the alternative menu, by default, you press shift while you press the middle mouse button. You could have changed that to your can press shift windows w also it will open this menu and it is a menu that where you say what you want to do with the favorite that you will select in the next step from your menu 
For example, if I want to run a file as administrator, I can click here, run as administrator, and then select an application from my menu, and this application will be launched as administrator. It will ask me for my password or the right to uh, to run it maybe you don't see it uh, because of the security but now I have the notepad block not in French that is running as administrator so that's one of the feature the other one I use frequently is edit a favorite so it will select a favorite and then open it in order to be able to edit its content immediately you can do the same thing with the quick launch, quick launch box so if I select notepad from the quick launch and then I right click on the item and I can select edit a favorite I could copy the path to this favorite to the clipboard run it as administrator or opening the folder that contains this uh, favorite so let we have already saw edit a favorite copy URL we see it now that it's been copied so let's just open notepad just to paste the content of my clipboard, you see that in my clipboard, I add the path to this file. So it could be uh, the path to a folder, it could be the text of the snippet. So anything that is the content of your favorite will be copied to the clipboard. And what else do we have? We also have, we've seen run as administrator, we also have open the containing folder. So this notepad, executable file is found somewhere on my computer under the windows folder so i could open it here it will be open in the system32 subfolder where in fact the notepad uh, executable file can be found so all these features these alternative mean many features can be configured in the options it's under alternative menu hotkeys for each feature, you can select a modifier. So for example, to edit a favorite, I have here left shift and control shift. So if I open the quick launch, select notepad and press shift and control at the same time I press enter, or if I double click the, the item, it will open the, the edit favorite dialog box. So that's an example of things that you can do by using these modifiers that can be changed for each alternative menu features. So I hope that you like this new quick launch features. If you have questions or comments, you can go to the quick access pop-up forum or visit the quick access pop-up knowledge base. It's at www.quickaccesspopup.com. See you there.